one night before I was a palliative nurse, the first year I nursed, and I worked uh, on a floor that took in um, people from Emerge that were just needing to be put in the hospital and then ne the next morning they would be put in other places of the hospital. And a six-year-old came in uh, with a sore throat. She had tonsillitis and uh, they were going to remove her tonsils tomorrow morning. She was just staying with us overnight and she kept ringing her bell and wanting water and wanting to go to the bathroom and wanting a cookie and other things. I decided that I would just sit down with her and I did have a few minutes. Uh, the floor was pretty quiet. I started to ask her the things that she liked to do and learn a little bit more about her and uh, what she thought she might be missing tomorrow because she wasn't going to go to school and get to know her a little bit more. I sang to her and uh, I started to realize that she was absolutely terrified of having surgery. She'd never been anesthetized before and uh, she thought if she was anesthetized that she wouldn't wake up. She finally told me she thought she probably would die tomorrow morning having surgery. I couldn't change the fact that she was absolutely terrified. No matter what I said, she still might think tomorrow that she might not wake up. The reality is that she did and she went on to, I, I assume, live a great life. But in that moment, I started to realize that I'm just I'm palliating this little girl. Uh, I can't uh, fix it or cure it. The surgeon's going to do that for her tomorrow and then she will see that she will live on. But tonight I'm just here to soothe and comfort her and uh, not necessarily fix or solve a lot of problems but just to be attentive to her. So my smile, my compassion, my attending to her suffering in the moment uh, was definitely a palliative action.